Hey Polish fans, welcome to another video here at Wild Moonlacker. And today we're doing a little haul from what I've gotten so far in the month of May. Now, a couple of these should have arrived earlier. I believe these two here came from an order that I placed with the Walgreens um, in April and it took a month to get to me. But in any case, let's go over some of the polishes that I've gotten so far in May. So the first one that we're going to go over is the order that I placed with Native War Paints. They were having a special for May the 4th. They had a Mystery the Child polish available and I had to grab that. And then while I was at it, I ordered this one, which is called Egg Shen's Six Demon Bag. This one I had been having my eye on for quite a while, so I finally bought this one and as you can see it's this beautiful sort of pinky lavender color with a very vibrant and strong blue shimmer. I believe there's a little bit of holographic in there as well. So beautiful polish there and this is the little mystery polish. So this is a magnetic. That was a surprise. So it is this sort of like dusty eggplant mauve sort of a color and that green flash that you're seeing is the magnetic pull. So very unique to my collection and of course since it's a Star Wars polish I was very happy to get a hold of it and she named it He Protect, He Attack, He Eat Frog for Snack. <laughs> and I thought that was too adorable. <laughs> so again this one was the Native War Paints Mystery Polish from May the 4th. Then I placed an order from a D-Stash. These polishes here. I got a couple from Crow's Toes. This one is called Beyond Your Fears and this was a Hella Hollow Customs from September 2016. I've been eyeing polishes like this and I just never was that into oranges before to actually pull the trigger but I thought that the color combination was really unique. So this particular one is this very deep, rusty orange sort of metallic, and it has these blue holographic glitters in it. And there could be more in it. <laughs> there definitely could be more in it. It's a very complex little polish, very cool looking. Um, so like I said, I was happy uh, if you've watched some of my other um, videos. Crow's Toes is one of those ones that I've been wanting to get more of. So I was happy to find one of their older polishes. You can get a good view there of that blue holographic glitter. And then the second one from Crow's Toes that I got in this D stash is called Orange Blooded. And this is this beautiful sort of deep but dusty navy. And it's loaded with orange metallic and holographic glitters in an array of sizes. So very cool polish, definitely appropriate for fall. So I'm excited to put this on my fall rack. So that was orange blooded. Then in that order, I found this one from Ever After. This one is called Burning Twilight. And this is a very unique and beautiful shade. It's almost like a mix between periwinkle and cornflower. And I love both. It also has these sort of burnt gold multi-chrome flakies and it's holographic. I'm not sure if that holographic is coming across. I think you can sort of see the shimmer. That shimmer is the holographic. So very beautiful and unique shade to my collection. And then I found this one from Love Angeline. I guess this is another indie brand that I completely missed out on. This one is called Whiskey. And this is another one that's very unique to my collection. I don't own very many browns. This is sort of a purple leaning, just ever so slightly purple leaning brown, sort of a milk chocolate. And it is loaded with an array of shimmers. And I believe this one came in one of her um, collections where the polishes dry matte. And the swatches that I was pulling up online were very interesting of this. So I was excited to add this one to my collection. And I believe this is my first Love Angeline. The other one that I got was this one by Alchemy Lacquers. 
And this one is called Deimos. This is this beautiful purple with a beautiful pink flash to it and purple multi-chrome flakies that change to like gold and green and hot pink. Beautiful color. And as you can see there on the swatch, it is almost a periwinkle leaning purple. So you've got a little bit of blue in there. It's absolutely gorgeous. So again, that one was Deimos by Alchemy Lacquers. And the last one in that D stash that I picked up was this one by Rogue Lacquer. This one is called Petrified Forest. And I had been eyeing this one and sort of hemming and hawing about it when she released this in her, I believe it was like the Wilds of Arizona collection. I could be mistaken on the exact name. Uh, one of my favorite polishes from her was in that collection and it was the Lilac Lavender one. And it's something, something dust, dusk. I can't think of the name right now. But this was in that collection and it's, it's not a color that I'm usually drawn to because it is sort of this off-white beige sand color but I kept eyeing it and the swatches that I looked up were really beautiful so for the price I believe this one might have been like five dollars I decided to give it a shot and it has these beautiful orange to green to gold multi-chrome flakies and I believe they go to green as well yeah so you've got green orange yellow gold beautiful and of course there's some scattered holographic in there as well and it is definitely a unique color to my collection i'll have to see if when i wear it if i like it i might use something like this as an accent nail if i don't love it as a full mani but i think using this as an accent nail or even um, as a topper over other colors especially in the fall might look really nice so again, that one was Petrified Forest. So before we get into the Dollar Tree haul, let's go over a couple that I got from Walgreens. This one is from Sally Hansen in the Mega Strength formula. And this one is called Here to Stay. <laughs> I think I have this color so many times in my collection. Not this specific one, but this color family. I love a good dusty mauve, this like sort of grayed out purple. You probably have heard me talk about this a lot on my channel so far, and I'm just always drawn to it. This particular one is a simple cream, and it is this beautiful color. So I'm excited to get this one swatched and see how it compares to some other polishes in my collection. I am currently in the middle of organizing my polishes, finally. Um, I decided that the best way to do my collection being that it has gotten so out of hand is to first organize it down by color and then do a sort of a purge of the stash by color so that I can see if I have any dupes if I have any colors that I like no idea why I have this one still get rid of colors that I might have tried but for some reason hung onto even though I didn't like them that sort of thing and then go ahead and do the second stage of sorting which is moving to brand that will take a while in any case the second polish that I got from uh, Walgreens was this beautiful sinful colors this one is called Rorange this you've probably heard me talk about as well these sort of burnt fall oranges are definitely my jam lately I absolutely love them and I hadn't even heard of this polish before but when I was looking online for placing an order with Walgreens I came across this one and the swatches again are absolutely gorgeous it is this very particular shade of like a ever so slightly pink leaning but deep rich terracotta orange it's gorgeous I can't wait to get this on my nails it looks amazing so again that one was Rorange by Sinful Colors and then for my little haul from Dollar Tree I actually just realized that I did have a couple from LA Colors that I did not include in this but I think those might have already been taken off of my desk and put into my sorting area of polishes. So I don't know that I can pull those out. In any case, 
I wanted to share this with you guys um, from one of my recent Dollar Tree uh, runs over the last couple of weeks. Obviously, this is being filmed during quarantine, so I usually go to Dollar Tree for snack runs. Um, there's a lot of stuff that is just easy to get there, and it does give me a little bit of a shopping break to go ahead and find a little bit of polish now and then. I do wear a mask, just so as you know. Um, but I found this in the crafting area, and you might have heard me mention before that I've been wanting to get a dot tool since I've been getting into more actual nail art lately. And I did place an order for a set of, I think, five on eBay, but that was a couple of weeks ago, and I'm not even sure if it's shipped yet. I do know that the company let me know that there was major shipping delays, as I was expecting. Um, so I have no real estimate about when I will be getting that. And I didn't even think to look in Dollar Tree necessarily. I was actually there looking for like a backdrop in the arts and crafts section for like a fancy paper or something like that for a backdrop for filming and wound up down in the wooden crafts section where they've got like paints and glitters and I think like their popsicle sticks and I saw this one. So I wanted to hold on to the packaging because I have used this. I, I use that for this many here um, but I wanted to show you what it looks like so in case you try to go looking for it you'll know what to keep your eye out for and it comes in this crafters square little packaging here and they call it an embossing stylus but as you can see here that's apparently still dirty for my manicure it has two different sizes of these little balls at the end perfect for a dot tool so I had to share that with you guys then the Dollar Tree was having these sinful colors uh, they got seemed to get a shipment of these in these duo packs so I got this one for this shade here. That one is called Kitten. And then the shade here that is the darker sort of flashy pink is Flambeau Pink. And if you've heard me talk about pinks before, I'm not the biggest fan of these particular shades of pink, but I will play around with it and see if I can use it as a topper or if I actually do like that shade once it's swatched. But this particular one here was the reason I bought this pack. It's again this sort of a dusted out pinky purple. And just to show you a comparison to that Sally Hansen, the Sally Hansen is a lot grayer. And the one from Sinful Colors, and actually I think it might be Sinful Shine, not Sinful Colors, um, in the Sinful Shine line, I should say, um, is definitely more of like a lilac or orchid pinkish purple but still has that dusted out quality to it. And then I bought this two pack and the reason for this one is I had been eyeing this one. <laughs> I know, shocking, cause it is pink, but it is a topper and it has this sort of like rose gold flaky in it and then these fuchsia glitters. And then I noticed that the white in here is actually white on time which if you look at the little sticker here is actually an illuminating base so i decided that that would be a good thing to have in my collection i definitely don't have one of those yet and i wish i could have gotten more of the duo packs i mean 50 cents for sinful colors is a total bargain um, but most of the other colors that they had i just either already had or wasn't really in colors that I was looking to add to my collection. So that's what I got that time. And that wraps up this little haul so far for May. Um, hope you enjoyed. Feel free to comment down below if you have any favorites from this, which polishes maybe that you've been getting so far for the month of May. I know I have been looking through D stashes a lot more often. So I've been finding a lot of miscellaneous brands and polishes. Make sure that you're subscribed for more videos and give me a big old thumbs up if you liked this video and I'll see you next time.